some inputs that have come in from Pakistan with the former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan has halted his Azadi march after a journalist died in a, tra died in a tragic accident by falling under a container. And that container then reportedly crushed over her. Now this, remember, happened on day three of Imran Khan's long-promised Freedom March, which was scheduled to reach Islamabad on the 4th of November. The reporter that you're looking at on your screens, whose name is Sadaf Naim, was covering the PTI's long march and then passed away after she tried getting off Imran Khan's container, but then slipped and fell underneath it and then was trampled by the moving container. The Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif and also the PTR chief have now extended their condolences to the reporter's family. Shahbaz Sharif also praised Sadaf Naim as a dynamic and a hard-working reporter and said that he's deeply saddened by what has happened. हम अल्लाह से दुआ करते हैं कि उनको हौसला दे और ताकत दे ये जो ये जो ट्रेजेडी हुई है उनकी and also earlier the pakistani defense minister had said that the safety of the marches will fall entirely on the pti governments in punjab and the khyber pakhtunwa province as a majority of the route fell in fact in these two provinces and also to get us more updates in terms of what exactly has happened in this incident and just to have the reporter slipped and fell, we are joined in by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik who is joining us live on this broadcast. Anas, this is a very tragic incident that has been reported. Imran Khan was of course taking through his you know, long promised freedom march. But then this incident of a reporter falling off one of the containers and being trampled to death has come to light. Do we know more information in terms of how this has actually happened? Well, yes, this is absolutely tragic and a shocker of an incident. Uh, Sadaf Naeem, a reporter that has been covering PTI for her TV channel, the Channel 5 in Pakistan, for years. Uh, she just interviewed Imran Khan two days ago in that very container. And she was trying to get off from that container when her hand slipped. And then eventually she lost a uh, balance and she slipped. And uh, she came under the container and was crushed to death. Unfortunately, Imran Khan has said that he is calling off the march for the day and he's offered and extended his condolences with the family uh, of Sadaf Naeem. She's a mother of four. Uh, she comes from, from, uh, from, a, a, from a suburban area of Lahore. Uh, and uh, uh, Imran Khan says that they will be continuing with the march tomorrow from the same place that is in Kamoki uh, on the GT road. Uh, he also says that uh, they will be on schedule, but for the time being, at least they are way behind schedule by the looks of it. Because if you were to go by the schedule, then today the march was to be in Gujarat, but they are far, far behind from Gujranwala as well. Uh, they haven't even crossed Gujranwala, so Gujarat is far, far ahead than that. So certainly Imran Khan is behind schedule. Saleh? Absolutely indeed. And also, you know, tell us a bit about the safety of these containers. We're looking at these images that, that are from the rally of Imran Khan. And, and we see a lot of people, in fact, atop these containers, virtually standing there with, with very little safety around them. Is it very dangerous, especially for reporters who would have to get on and off of these containers? Well, there are two ways to get onto the container. One's the way from the inside of the container, which Imran Khan usually uses, so which is that you get inside the container and there's a staircase that's, that leads up and you get onto it. That's way number one. The way number two is that you can, uh, you can take it, uh, you can get onto it from the outer side, uh, which is often taken by reporters uh, because that's a considerably easier way out or the easier way in. It's easy to access, of course, with the with the relevant permissions of uh, PTI authorities uh, and PTI administ uh, admins. But what is to be kept in mind is that I've been on one such containers. We've been reporting from that. Uh, there seemingly seems to be some adequate security measures, but clearly not enough. Uh, what I understand, having spoken to rescue rescue sources, people from the rescue who uh, were the first responders to the incident, was that uh, owing to the crowd, uh, she had a push while she was getting down, 
and therefore her hand slipped leading to her being disbalanced and eventually uh, falling down and being trampled to death so uh, an extremely unfortunate and tragic incident and that is the reason Imran Khan has said uh, rather uh, rather instructed his workers to pray for the for uh, the demised uh, uh, worker for for the worker who's just lost her life uh, for the reporter who's just lost her life pardon me on that number one and number two that they will be continuing uh, with the march from the same location from tomorrow and, and also Anas, considering this very tragic incident that has happened you know the fact that Imran Khan still wants to proceed with his freedom march because the focus is now completely off his freedom march the focus is not on the politics of Imran Khan but rather on the tragedy that has unfolded today Well, yes, it, uh, it's it's a matter of survival for Imran Khan, so he would continue regardless of whosoever and whatsoever the tragedy is. And that is the reason and manifestation of which is being reflected by this announcement, which he has said that uh, they're stopping for the night or for the day and there they will continue tomorrow. Um, as I said, it's a matter of survival. It's a matter of political survival uh, and political life and death of Imran Khan and his relevancy. Therefore, he would want to continue. Uh, therefore, he we would want to show as well that irrespective or regardless of whatsoever comes his way, he would not be deterred or, or, uh, or gotten off track from what his aim is and that is to get to Islamabad and demand uh, fresh elections or a new general election. Yesterday, when Imran Khan took a literal U-turn near Murid K, uh, there were speculations that he had gone to Lahore for some negotiation that was really rebutted by him himself in a tweet. Uh, but uh, and then he reiterated essentially the same demand that his demand is to call for a new election. So as I said, Imran Khan would want to give this semblance that he is uh, he is steadfast, he's on track, and irrespective of whatsoever comes his way, he would continue with his march to Islamabad with this what he believes are slight hiccups, such as this tragedy of Sadaf Nasim, uh, Naim, a reporter who's just uh, who has just uh, lost her life. Covering the long march, it is truly tragic, unfortunate. Uh, Imran Khan has uh, uh, condoled with the family, but he would want to continue regardless of that. Salih. All right, we'll have to leave there. Thank you very much indeed, Anas Malik, for joining us and getting us all those updates there. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.